by working uh, to, to serve. And it's, uh, it's really a wonderful idea. I think uh, it, it, it's really the genius of Fatima Gulen that he has been able to inspire so many young people, so many older brothers who will spend their time teaching and acting as role models, so many businessmen who silently, anonymously, really, have been supporting, what? Supporting this selfless service of, of transforming society. Mr. John gave a very good example in his own case of how how he underwent a personal transformation. But let me just tell you one story of how, how a, a, a whole town got transformed. I was talking to a, a parish priest, a Catholic priest in uh, my own country, I'm American, uh, in uh, Patterson, New Jersey. And Patterson is a, is a, is a city in New Jersey where really there's a, a lot of Turks. Uh, Turkish immigration in, in say in the recent 20, last 20 years. And I was talking to this parish priest and he said to me, he said, you know these Turks have really transformed our community through their iftar dinners, through their cultural center and the, and the, and the, and the programs that they have there, by going from door to door delivering the Noah's pudding at the at the time of Ashura, by the, by the trips that they are uh, organizing to Turkey. He says, I've, I've come to know Jews and Protestants that I, I, I never met before. And I meet them at the Turkish Cultural Center. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's, it's really a good example of what, what can happen when you start starting to think as a, as a group of how you can transform society, bring people together, and you do it unselfishly. You know, we, we kind of chuckle when we talk about Noah's pudding, but you see people going from door to door, giving out something. How much of uh, the anonymity of, of modern life gets broken down that way? Uh, and, and most of us aren't ready to do it. Well. When, when, you, when people have motivation to do it, they, they do do it, and it makes a difference. So, during these days, uh, what I thought was really good about the conference was we were looking at the thought of Fethullah Gülen and how it plays out in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the community of his followers. And we were looking at it from a lot of different aspects, you know. Sometimes the, the, the sociological aspect, sometimes we, we kind of look at the, at the, the spiritual aspect, the, 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 the teachings of, of uh, Fethullah Gülen. Sometimes we kind of see it in different parts of the world and, the, and, and how, it's, how it's acting in, in Central Asia or in Turkey or here in Europe. And, and, uh, well, the, the good thing about it was, uh, I wish you all could have been there because we, we kind of came up with a, with a cumulative kind of knowledge and, uh, and, and really gained in an understanding that was multifaceted because it was coming from a lot of people's different experience <coughs> and research. So I'd like to uh, congratulate the uh, the organizers of this conference for having the idea and for carrying it out so well and by giving those of us who participated in it a really good example of what selfless service means. So thank you to all of them.